So I want to welcome everybody to the first of many sessions we will be having at the Atomic World Challenge in GTA. Uh, we currently have five racers for tonight. Uh, we, we're going to continue to do qualifying laps. Uh, hopefully it will be every weekend. And those who qualify will be racing. So, And we're going to cover it here. So today we have Demonic, Tomboy, Chewy, Agent, and Sneaky. Uh, the poll today went to Agent Ranger. So, but currently we can see that Demonic is in the lead. These races are 30 minutes long, or about. So I believe this one's about 15, 15 laps. So it's going to be a blast to watch this from beginning to end. See how things get, see how competitive they are. So, Demonic is actually a consummate racer. He's been doing a lot of it. We, when, when we have some of the, um, the fastest challenges, uh, Demonic constantly gets in the, you know, first to third position. So, so he's definitely going to be on pace to to a person to beat. So uh, the next position is going to be Sneaky. Uh, these are actually put together by Sneaky and promoted by him. The most wanted is the ruling body for the group. So Sneaky is going to be in his uh, Spectre custom. And uh, he posted a really good lap time. A lot of the guys that were in this section of the race all posted about a 125 today so so it's we expect it to be a contested very highly contested race so and you can see his matching plate so the next was our i'm going to go over to our pole sitter which was agent ranger and he also has a specter custom he did post a, a tough time to, to beat for this race, so I really expect him to, to move up as things go along here. So you tell already that they, they're getting some distance on this. So and here's Tomboy. Tomboy is in his bestia. Tomboy actually has probably I think it was the second fastest lap for this track and and again he was probably somebody that was definitely going to be a tough to beat in this race so we're looking forward to see what he's going to present us with today and our last player is Chewy and here's Chewy and his Jester The problem with some of the cars that we saw on this track was definitely because the track is fast. And uh, because of that, we saw a lot of people not being able to take cars that normally were really fast and not do as well with them. So, so you can see already the Sneaky has taking the lead in this race even though Demonic had the best lap time so far you can see that 125 that's an exceptional lap time for this group of cars so he's definitely making up the distance with Sneaky That's a good question. Is he going to be able to catch him? Oh, that's the other thing is, is we are looking for co-commentators. So as things go on, we're going to get more and more people to do this race. And as we do, I'm going to need some other color commentators to come with us. So we're going to be looking for those soon enough. 
And I do want to thank Sneaky for putting together this race. Uh, Sneaky has put together all the races, all the uh, the um, tracks, and all the different things. He did a lot of searching for us to make sure that we got good competitive races. I got the chance to race everything out there, and and it was just an incredible setup to make to be sure. So definitely worth worth throwing down on. So. And the times on these are very competitive. So these these races are made, that, I mean, to be as competitive as possible. There are racers who went in here and did a little bit better on the track times for their cars, but using things like 770s and that kind of thing. So what we wanted to do was we're, we're trying to make a race competition that can be both intermediate as well as, you know, high-end so that players can come in and be competitive in and, and have a chance to take on other players and, and win these races. So uh, even if you don't have any kind of experience, if you don't think you can make the grade, here's an opportunity for you to be competitive and uh, race together with some awesome racers. So uh, if you're out there and you say, hey, I want to qualify next weekend, I want to qualify on Saturday, uh, send your message to VIP P R I M O, and I would be happy to make sure that you get an invite. Again, we're running the ruling body side of this event to make sure that everything stays fair, and like I said, so that it's you know that so that it is competitive. So, so let's see how agents faring in the third position. He really can see see Demonic off in the distance and agents times really I mean I mean you can see we're getting everything's really nice and close together in the top three you know 125 126 that later on that's gonna those those times are gonna tighten up as people get used to it so here's Demonic is taking the lead from Sneaky this is becoming a real battle up up top here. Getting tight, getting tight. A little bit of paint trading on that <laughs> that turn, so we actually do have um, we actually do have uh, access to Demonic's mic, so I can hear uh, him sending apologies over to Sneaky's team and saying that uh, the little paint trade is going on. So we've seen agents moved into second position. But see, agents walking out on that outside turn, trying to take the outside. May or may not be working for him, so. So we'll see how it pans out in the long run. So the, the great thing about this, we have two cars that are very competitive against each other. So they're getting tighter and tighter. Um, we just heard from Tomboy's Mike that they're having problems with their car. So, um. And obviously, with his 127, he was getting a little bit, a little bit, a little bit farther behind as he goes along. So let me check up with him real quick as these guys. So we'll see where he's at in his scheme here. So yeah, he's back over in this turn, coming around the corner here. We can see the guy, the other guys are off in the distance so he's having some problems right now we, we're hoping he's going to be able to pull that together and and make something happen <laughs> this battle up here is definitely a heated heated battle of guys with really top times and they're just getting the good averages going around the track. Oh, the track is called Kylie Rose. And uh, a lot of people were asking if uh, curb boosting was available uh, in this class. Uh, the, the event coordinator, Sneaky, has obviously asked that we have no curb boosting uh, with the race. So, I mean, it's one of those things that just kind of happens, but... In the same respect, I mean, we're looking at those lap times and seeing that, 
you know everybody's pretty much sticking to where they're they're at for their for their uh, for their uh, you know basically being fair with all the heating so things are getting close up here trying to get sneaky's coming to the inside of agent trying to get a clear pass i think he did get it yep now he's just gonna oh sneaky got a little squirrely there agent's trying to take it back So now they're going to split the difference in this little split track. And this part of the track goes in two different directions. It's really questionable about which one is slower, faster. Mm -hmm. Oh. But it looks like they took the, he took the position. So let's see where Demonic and Agent ended up. Yeah, they lost a lot of time in there. I'm wondering if they got into each other while on, on off screen that was something we didn't see. So, yeah, it, it looks like Sneaky took a piece of Demonic in that little flip, flip area there, and they were having some issues with it. So, And the average time of these races is usually about 30 minutes, so we're going to see how this all plays out down the road. So really looks like Sneaky's got a big lead out here, and he's using the, the screw-ups to capitalize, so... So it might just be end up being, so they're going to split the difference there. Like I said, both these tracks split in the middle. So these guys are going to come back around. It's really tough for me to tell between the two angles which has the better lap time to it. As you can see, they kind of come right back together at the right spot, which is really makes something really interesting for this racetrack and really says, you know, you can play to your weaknesses and your strengths a little bit differently, choosing which line you want to take, whether you want to be inside, outside, etc. So. You can see Sneaky off in the distance there, so. But I wouldn't count these guys out. There's there's some there's some laps going on, and we're at the we're at the ten lap mark here, so we still got some time left on this race to make some make some changes. But he's got quite the lead out there. Okay, so we're still back here with Agent and tracking it. All right, so it's it's get it's really even out here and that's the thing is i think it's tough is, is so agent's getting the best lap now and he's going to get two bonus points if he can keep that for the full time but there's demonic moving right back as he passes the line again for another 125 and sneaky's 126 so i mean we're pulling back about a second around here so so the question is is can they they act they turn that one second, you know, into some kind of like inclusion to racing. So, so it looks like Demonic's almost caught up to him, and the battle here is going to be between first and second if it is. Sneaky's just doing some nice, consistent runs, but I think he's getting falling back into that kind of going from point A to point B thing 
and uh, and as he's doing it, the other guys are working harder to get caught up to him. And you see that constantly in these races. You kind of rest on your laurels in first place, and when it does, you see somebody pull up on it and and uh, take advantage of it. So, so there's Demonic taking, looking for that outside line. Give it a little honk to let him know he's there. And he screwed it up. Big mistake by Demonic there. He's going to set him back a little bit. <clears throat> Still capping away at that, that best lap, so... Oh! And that is Demonic taking the lead. It looked like Sneaky took a little bit too far off in the back lane there, and that was it. You know, he just kind of grabbed it and took it. So that's the thing is, is about these races, and the reason that we set them up the way they set it is because it really is becoming really competitive. You see big lane changes. Look at that. It's Sneaky on the inside. Looks like he's got the position. Now he's going to take to the left. Oh, he took to the left this time. That was not his regular line, and Demonic Spotter just said, you know, watch out for it, and uh, and there he was. So I think that backed Demonic off a little bit there. He gave him some distance because he just wasn't ready for it. This has turned out to be quite the challenge race here, so... So can Agent make something out of this race is the real question. And he's right there. But he still can't pull in that big lap from it. And But Sneaky's not, not pulling what he needs to do either. So that means Demonic's going to keep knocking on his door until he gets there. So, And you can guarantee he's going to be hunting for it. So... Now we got Demonic here looking for the outside. Tomboy's off the track. Yeah, Tomboy was having some trouble with his car. We don't know what's wrong with it. We'll talk to him later about it. Uh, chances are things did not work out the way he wanted it to. And we'll ask him exactly how that went later. Demonic is just pushing this car off the edge. And there's Agent just knocking on the door. Now he got a split in right here. We're back to this fight again. Demonic takes the lead. Agent's trying to optimize that inside. He's having trouble with it. You can hear him on his on his radio just giving us a, a big, you know, problematic complaint about how he's not able to capitalize on these things as these two guys fight it out up front. So again, if you're just watching this part of it, uh, we're at the Atomic World Challenge. is a GTA race, and there's Agent taking. Oh, big spin out. Not what he wanted to see today, so. But here's Sneaky taking it back, and, and I, I don't know if he's going to be able to do anything with that. Demonic's up front. He's got a full second lead on it. He's got the, the lap choice, so Sneaky's back to going to the right side here. So, uh, yeah, well, like I said, we're, we're watching the Atomic World Championship. Uh, this is a qualifying event if you're interested in playing with it. Uh, we'd love to have you on a Saturday. Just message V-I-P-P-R-I-M-O to get your qualifying round to see if you qualify. And uh, we use the, the most competitive laps or what's called a median time to find out who's going to be racing in the series. So, And obviously today's race has been somewhat of a 
of a real biter. And with that was the white flag right there. So we got one more lap. It can sneaky. Can Sneaky make it back is the real question, and, and we're going to find that out right now. So he's having some issues. So we just we just heard Demonic Spotter say that he's going to not try to get the best lap here. He's just going to try to basically pedal it to the end of the race, play it safe. And and so, I mean, if Sneaky's group heard that, so can he put something into it together? And it, the other thing is, is at the end of these races, people put a lot of, you put too much energy into it. So sometimes when you get your speed going, um, you actually kind of just have problems with making it happen. So, so let's see if we can make it. It's going to, it's, I have a feeling it's going to be right down to the line on this. Here's the big inside turn here. That's going to be the, a big challenge. So right over here, they're going to take that hard inside line, which is a real tight sweeper turn, and then it doubles back on you. And that's usually where a lot of people, but that's the thing is, is if you have don't have that momentum off the end, you can't make it. So there you go. That's demonic. And that's sneaky, so. So it looks like that's how it's going to end today is... A big finish, and that was a crazy competitive race. You know, we're going to follow Chewy here. Let's see if he can make it to the end. That gesture's pumping around, but I just don't think he's going to make it to the end of it. He's got that big inside turn still to go here, so. And that's it. He suicides his way to the end. So thank you guys for watching the first night of the Atomic Challenge. Like I said, if you want to get involved, let's you know, congratulations to Demonic Just for pulling it out tonight. Big point score for him. And uh like I said, if you're interested, take us in. Get the